consistently attract soulmate clients, begin showing up on brand, monetizing on your calling. Welcome all spiritual coaches, leaders, healers, light workers, and practitioners to a show that turns you on in your business and amplifies your magnetism. I'm host, catalyst, and spiritual business coach, Rosalind Fung, and I'm here to journey with you into the juicy and help you discover where the real gaps are. Ignite your mindset and soul with strategies and systems as each episode takes you to the sweet spot that activates your sogasmic business. Enjoy this light language activation as we begin to magnetize and monetize. Welcome, my loves, to another incredible episode. This is especially for you if you are a spiritual entrepreneur. And if you're listening, you likely are. You're a healer, a coach, or a light worker who wants to activate your intuition, deepen your spiritual connection, and bring this into your healing work and business. You know you have gifts to share. However, you might not quite be sure how to activate or develop them. And you are desiring to bring spirituality more into your business. As well, you desire to transition your healing work online. And you want to utilize your psychic and mediumship abilities to serve others. So if you're like, yes, 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 yes. This episode is totally for you to learn how to activate your psychic powers and monetize on your gifts. I have a very special guest here today with me, Laura Chappell. And we actually met on, surprise, surprise, social media. <laughs> yes. and- and Laura is my sister from down under in Australia. And mm-hmm. uh, when we connected, I was like, wow, we are so much alike. So as I read her bio, um, you're going to see our backgrounds are very similar. Um, I'm really excited for her to share her stories, share her wisdom on today's episode with you all. And may I say that Laura is extra dedicated because as we're recording this, it is 4 a.m. her time. (laughs) Your hour anyway, we say, and she has a new baby. So I think sleep is kind of like secondary at this point. Hey, love. Yeah, Uh, absolutely. Here, let me read your uh, bio. So those of you who are tuning in right now and Laura Chappelle is new to you, um, I want you to know about her. So she is a psychologist, a psychic medium, and a spiritual business coach who helps women to activate psychic and mediumship abilities, I can't wait to jump on this, and attracts a life and business filled with love, wealth, and happiness. So welcome, love. I am so, so grateful for you in making time to be here with us today. I'm so happy to be here. I'm excited, I'm, you know, to just be on here. And yes, it's early, but yeah, I'm happy to be here. I'm really excited. Mm, so beautiful. I'd love to have you share your story of how you got to be who you are today and be doing what you are doing. So, yeah, I would love to share. So for me, I mean, gosh, I grew up in a family. My dad is very gifted. I think I might have mentioned this to you, Rosalind. Mm-hmm. Um, he actually developed, had lots of spiritual gifts that lay dormant and hidden, I guess, when I was a child. But there were, it, it used to come up, we used to talk about it a lot as a kid, like spiritual experiences, um, what happens when you die. Um, where do we come from? I used to ask all these questions as a child and I was very intuitive and open, Mm -hmm. but my dad was kind of fearful of his gifts. So he closed them down. When I was about 16, I had a spiritual awakening and I was just so fascinated by questioning everything about ourselves. I knew that this wasn't everything I just knew that this wasn't the be all and end all and there was so much more to life and I went mm-hmm. on a just journey to discover that and that's when I started to discover my own gifts I I always connected with spirit as a child but I was very fearful but I met some amazing mentors at the age of 16 and activated mm-hmm. my psychic and mediumship abilities 
And I brought my dad along the journey with me and, you know, I said to him, you've got to explore this. It's amazing. You've got these gifts. And all these gifts started to come up for him, psychic, mediumship, energy healing, light language. So like you, my dad started doing light language and um, is an incredible healer and channeler. Oh, yeah. you know that's what really stood out about your story was I have actually never really heard of um, somebody's dad being intuitive usually when i'm listening to stories it's usually the mother so this really fascinated me and i was like what your dad was super open at first and then he got he shut it down and then for you to discover it at a young age i'm actually really curious can we dig in there a little bit yeah. about your, your probably your first of many spiritual awakenings at 16. Yeah. what yeah. happened there well, I guess I went through what you'd call the dark night of the soul. And um, I had, you know, really tough years and mm. depression. I didn't feel like I fit in anywhere. Like I had a lot of friends, but I always felt a little bit different. And, you know, I really struggled um, with my mental health, but I was a high performer, high achiever. And that was part of the problem is that I yeah. worked and studied a lot. I performed really well academically. I did a lot of sport, like I did well at everything, but you know, I was deeply quite unhappy and I went on a journey to discover why, like, why was I so happy and unhappy? And I really didn't want to be here anymore. That's what it got to. But it was from that point hitting my rock bottom that I thought, if I'm going to be here, I'm going to make the best of my life. I'm going to work through this and live an amazing life. I'm not going to live a mediocre life, you know, and it really yes. motivated me to do a lot of healing. And that's when I went into psychology as well. So you know, to be a psychic medium, I didn't think that that was a good enough career or that you could make money doing it and didn't think my parents would approve. My mum's very academic. She's a um, in the medical world. And so I thought, you know, doing something like psychology, going to university would probably be more acceptable. Um, and that's, yeah, the path that I went down. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I, I want to just uh, rewind a little bit and say thank you so much for sharing that piece around your um, journey in really that struggle that dark night of the soul like mental health is of course you and I know both being psychologists that it is absolutely the most important thing and there are so many people even today who are very much I mean, both of you, you and I were there, high achievers, high performers, but I really believe inside are not happy. That was part of my spiritual awakening. It was much later than yours, love. <laughs> Mine was at 25. <laughs> um, but very similar, very similar in terms of everything on the outside looked perfect, you know, like was hitting all the checkbox box, um, in terms of um, societal success, but inside not feeling fulfilled and having this like, surfacy happiness yes and, and feeling so empty inside mm. and so thank you so much for sharing that because i i believe true performance high performance we can still be high performers but what's important is that we're not driven by being valued in our doingness yes and rather it's our beingness and so coming mm -hmm. back to you, that's incredible that you were such a gift for your, your dad as well to catalyze that, we'll say, reawakening of his gifts. Like, incredible, mm -hmm. incredible. Yeah. Absolutely. No, I love that. And thank you for sharing. It's so interesting how our journeys connect there, you know, and that I wouldn't be where I am today and I wouldn't have done what I did had I not been through what I had. And I'm so grateful because I can connect with people on such a deep level because of the, the pain yes. I've experienced, you know, yes. and the fear around coming out and opening up your gifts and revealing that, you know, I've been through that and I was hiding for years. So yeah, I can relate so much to my clients when they're fearful about owning them and putting them out there and sharing them with the world absolutely and may I ask when you were 16 what was it like who was that person who first supported you in your spiritual awakening was it a therapist was it a healer Mm -hmm. It was well, a therapist, it was actually a psychologist. Um, mm -hmm. The first person was my school psychologist. She was amazing. Beautiful. I think her name was like Mrs. Trinder or something. I never forget mm -hmm. her. And she was so profoundly helpful for me in that time that 
it helped carry me through and it was, you know, I don't know if I'd be here without her, you know, just I felt so misunderstood by everybody and felt so alone and she just held this beautiful space for me and I felt safe to be seen, safe to be myself and it just was so transformational that and so healing that that is what ignited my passion and I wanted to be that for others. So powerful. And then you said you then met healers that, helps you open your spiritual gifts. Was that around this, like shortly after? And you it were- was, yeah. yeah. I met some amazing, I met a medium um, who uh, used to teach psychic mediumship abilities. It was actually one of my really um, spiritual friends who led me to her and she ended up not continuing. It wasn't for her, but I stayed. <laughs> and then it was, wow. you know, when I brought my dad along. So we used to attend classes with mediums and learn how to activate our gifts and develop them. So I spent sort of like 10 or so years in different circles with different mm-hmm. teachers and dad was part of that journey. And so it was just, it really reconnected us because we didn't have a good relationship when I was a child and we're very disconnected, Mm. but this experience brought us closer than ever. And we've had this amazing bond now because of the healing and the spiritual gifts that opened up for us. I can seriously feel that. Like I'm starting to tear up as you're, you're sharing the relationship with your dad and just the power of how spirit comes in and supports this journey in such a beautiful, profound way. And I'm really curious, um, your dad, what did he do for work? So he was um, in like IT and, 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 you know, and really amazing with the computers and systems and all of that. So that's, you know, been really useful to me on my journey. Um, And then he sort of transitioned into property developing, but he was a stay at home dad for many years. So my Mm. mom worked, she worked full time and she was in the medical world and very busy. Um, and yeah, it was mainly dad that was home. And so he took on that kind of mothering role as well. So, you know, we wanted new dresses and we wanted jewelry and things. He would take us shopping and (laughs) buy the things and, you know, go to all the school, um, activities with us where all the mums were. So it was quite different back then. It wasn't very common that the dad would be home. So, yeah. And I'm even thinking when I was your age, um, nobody was talking about the spirit world or and psychics and like I don't remember anybody here in my world where I live in Canada um having that experience so I just think it's incredible that that was embraced over there um and that you were surrounded with these um beautiful healers and teachers and therapists that way um and I'm really curious um with your mom being a psychologist and being so much in the medical field I'm curious how she received all this spiritual awakening and <laughs> and like yeah. all this new stuff so it's interesting isn't it? And it went you know she received it a lot better than I thought she would so you know I could see with mum ultimately all she wanted us to was to be successful to be happy and to not be struggling financially and all the things and mm-hmm. for her she thought that the pathway would be to go through university get a qualification and I did really well and I did that and um, performed really well academically so you know that kind of she was very happy with that and content with that mm-hmm. um, it wasn't until I decided to do the transition I think she was quite um unsure about what I was doing but she has been so accepting I mean throughout this whole journey she even came to those development classes with my dad and I she was always there in the background but she knew it wasn't her journey it wasn't for her she was open and curious always had an open Mm -hmm. mind but didn't sort of take it on and do anything with the work she was just kind of there for the ride in the journey Mm -hmm. and for us Um, So she's been very open and accepting now. I think she's quite mind blown as to what I've created. Um, I know which we will get into. I'm I'm just like, as you can see, I'm so curious and I love as um, our audience is tuning in to really feel into uh, Laura's story because I know that some of you can really relate with this. And um, my hope is that you are resonating with Laura's story inspired and moved by it and just really like seeing and hearing a different perspective here Mm -hmm. um and so you have been a psychologist I believe you're also in private practice correct yes yes so I left um my job um at 
at a university. I worked there. I did teaching and lecturing for years and counselling in the um, university setting, which I loved. Mm -hmm. But then I transitioned out and started my own practice before shifting into the spiritual coaching Mm -hmm. um, world. Yeah, and I absolutely loved that and, you know, love my clients, love my client work. I, I always knew that all I wanted to do was help people heal and shift and be yes. the best versions of themselves, have amazing lives. And I will do that for the rest of my life, you know, and I knew that if I wasn't paid, that would be the work that I was doing. Or if, you know, I already had all of the money in the world, like I would still do what I'm doing. Like I'm so passionate about it. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, you're on purpose when you feel that way. And mm-hmm. so um, please let us know, like, I, I feel like this piece, I know a lot of my um, community they really admired that I took the transition as well from being a psychologist, you know, really putting here in Canada, we, you and I had some private chats about like (laughs) being a licensed psychologist is very strict. And, um, and I would say rightly so. Right. And, um, some like for, for us, it's like quite different. Um, being licensed in Canada versus being licensed in the States. And then you and I were talking about being licensed between Canada and Australia. And just seems like there's always Mm -hmm. different ethics. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I was really curious about jamming on that with you, but for me, like the hardest thing was to um, really, really take the risk of putting my soul mission out there in a bigger way by creating an online program Um, as a licensed therapist. I figured it out legally and ethically. And then spirit opened up more doors for me Um, and then making that transition fully into coaching. So you and I have a lot of that in, in common. And I'd love for you Mm. to share, you are still licensed. And yeah, so technically, but that is the purely so that some of my long-term clients I can finish off seeing. So I'm not really taking new people in psychology, but I'm doing that kind of just, just for them, um, Mm -hmm. but we'll make the full transition pretty soon. So exciting. So exciting. And so let's really highlight, cause you are in transition and I know my audience is going to be so touched by this, that you're still in transition cause you're doing it right now. <laughs> and you know, I have been watching and witnessing your incredible success in the launch of your business and the academy so please share a little bit more about you know your academy but also the process because i know a lot of people are feeling held back and by their fears Mm -hmm. of putting themselves out there in a bigger way yeah so that was huge for me i had so much fear around putting my gifts out there and you know, in the psychology world and a lot of professionals, I had amazing supervisors. And, you know, throughout my whole degree, we never talked about intuition, energy, psychic, Mm -hmm. spirituality, but yet to me, it was all part of everything that we were doing and everything that we were being taught. We just didn't use those words. So I was so fearful of being found out and criticized and judged and discredited and all the things. Mm -hmm. Um, And so it took me time to really gain enough Um, courage to really just go for it and stop worrying what people thought and especially the people in the psychology world so it it was really tough but I had amazing support and you know especially from spirit like I knew it was the time I knew I needed to do it and you know I remember I actually got made redundant from my full-time job um, at a university unexpectedly and it felt like the worst point in my life because I'd built up years to get to that point in my mm-hmm. career and I was very well respected. I had amazing clients. I was earning great money. I had a great team and I probably wouldn't have left because it just all looks so good on paper. It's like, why would you leave? Mm-hmm. But in my soul, I knew there was something more for me. I knew that I wasn't being my full authentic self and it became there was a crossroads where I was helping my clients to embrace and accept all parts of themselves be their authentic selves show up integrate all parts and I realized that I wasn't doing that that I was hiding a huge part of me and not bringing into my work not acknowledging it so I felt like a bit of a a fraud a fraud in that moment it was like what am I doing Mm -hmm. and so that was a big part of my journey I've got to own this I've got to be that example for others and I've got to show that it's safe to be spiritual it's safe to bring this into your work it's safe to charge for your gifts the moment I started to put it out there and let people know my business exploded my spiritual coaching business 
and I was downloaded the idea of creating the Psychic Mediumship Academy. Um, I had no job, no money, no backup plan, and this idea was there, and I knew I knew how to teach it. And so within three or four months of starting that spiritual coaching business, I launched the Psychic Mediumship Academy, and I remember I had my first 20K month in business, you know, and that was yeah. just to me at the time like there's no way I'd ever been able to make that much money that quickly um, mm -hmm. with less hours and work you know because I was moving out of trading time mm -hmm. for money and working by the hour um, as you know and you're in that world Roz and yes isn't it so like, great <laughs> that's really for me you know having a family too yeah. I realized that time freedom was so important to me I I had a big mission I wanted to help a lot more people and I just didn't have the capacity to help as many people as I wanted hour by hour um so I you know opened up this um idea and this opportunity to do this online course with people and there was so much demand so much interest there still is which blows my mind as you as you were saying when I was 16 no I felt no one my age was open to this work it was a lot older people that I would talk to about it. I had no one my age. Now the people mm. are everywhere. Everywhere I look, everywhere I talk to people online, people are open um, to yes, spirituality. Absolutely. All of this more than they've ever been in my experience. So incredible. And I, I, my sense is you also, because you're showing up here, you're, you're attracting the people that are reflections of you right and mm -hmm. the people who are desiring to see to be very similar to you you're giving them the uh you're an image maker as the next level version of themselves and it's so beautiful to hear just how you courageously took that and i love how you're like wait a minute i i teach people this and i'm not fully <laughs> in myself I can totally relate with that yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. incredible and so um with your academy please tell us a little bit more about that is mm. this for because you act, got activated as a, a teen so who do you serve I'm really curious mm. So a lot of my clients, they're all sort of spiritual healers, coaches, light workers, as I call them. So mm -hmm. people from all different backgrounds. I even have, you know, chiropractors, um, medical people, but they're all people that have a spiritual side that they want to bring into their work. Yes. Um, they might be Reiki healers, crystal practitioners, therapists, coaches, mm -hmm. um, nurses. I've had, I've, I work with nurses. A lot of people that want to transition out of like mainstream work mm -hmm. and bring all of their gifts into their practice and integrate that. I mean, it's massage therapists. It's um, people that want to help other people heal and really bring in spirit and activate their intuition, their psychic gifts to really give um, beautiful mm -hmm. healing and shifts to their clients. So, yeah, so I, I attract the most incredible women. It's still mind-blowing to me, Roz. You know, I've worked with so many people over the years from every stage of life, every background, mm -hmm. and I got very intentional about who I wanted to work with at this point in this academy. And yes. these women are like my best friends. Like they become mm -hmm. my friends, right. the people I just want to hang out with all the time. And, you know, we've, we've got this community of people that, I'm not afraid to be seen. It's like you can be mm -hmm. all that you are. You can talk about anything that's weird and woo-woo mm -hmm. and everybody gets it. Everyone embraces it. So I never had that growing up. So I created that now and it's just Love so it. exciting to be in that. That is so incredible. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, over here in Canada, I, and I won't say like all of Canada, obviously I'll speak from just my experience, me being very spiritual. I find here my experience is that, Yes, more and more people are becoming spiritual and because of who I am and, you know, that, that's who I attract into my circles. That's who I gravitate towards. However, I don't see that it's fully embraced. Like, I'm so happy when I hear you saying, like, there's chiropractors and there's nurses, there's people in the medical world that are opening up more and more. I have a few clients who are in the medical field definitely have clients who in, in the uh, psychologist and, and social work as well. But, um, you know, I'm really getting a sense that it's more open there. Would you 
and I don't know how much you know. You've been, you actually lived in Canada, so you <laughs> let well, me know <laughs> what's your experience. I went there because I thought Canada was more open. I went there really? for about six months because my auntie, um, Gavin's um, auntie, my husband's auntie, is yes. like me, and I'm so incredibly grateful to have met her. She's a psychologist. She's also very spiritual, mm. and she transitioned out of counseling psychology into spiritual sort of coaching and I was drawn to Canada because of her and I thought people were way more open there so yeah. it's really interesting but you know they're much more maybe they are more open here than I realized because it's it feels like everywhere I go uh, I can have these conversations with people now more than ever and years ago I just couldn't you know even in my friendship circles we never talked about this but now all the people that I attract just are really open and curious and want to hear more about it yes I do find myself like you know I'm surrounded by these people too but if I'm going out to let's say pick up my kids at school and I'm talking to a parent that I'm not really familiar with I'm like can I say, you know, like, <laughs> I mean, I'll say it anyway, because it's me, but I'm like waiting for the reaction to see if they, yeah. have, if they think I have two heads or something. <laughs> uh, exactly. I've always got that, you know, being a psychologist or psychic, they're like, oh my God, you can read my mind, you know, everything. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, like all of my um, darkest secrets already, and you know, um, yeah. so yeah, it is interesting people's reactions, but I don't mind anymore because I'm so happy doing what I'm doing. I see the change that I'm creating. I see the impact that I'm having on these women's lives. And it just makes it so worth it. It's it's bigger than that. It's bigger than my worry and fear of other people's judgments, you know? Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, this is such a juicy conversation. I love this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a break. And when we come back, I'd love to pick Laura's brain about how you integrate you help people integrate their spirituality into their business mm -hmm. absolutely i'm excited ohm times tv imagine becoming a super influencer reinvent yourself invest in your brand and then manifest your success with a robust spheric approach Ohm Times Media and Broadcasting offers a unique and multifaceted way to become the spiritual and conscious influencer you deserve to be by putting your message across our powerful platform with its proven record of integrity and excellence. Through our produced shows, Ohm Times offers the opportunity to become a social media TV personality, a radio show host, an Ohm Times Magazine columnist, and a syndicated podcaster, all in one shot. By live streaming your show on Ohm Times TV and broadcasting it across the extensive Ohm Times radio and TV networks, you become more than a host. You become an ambassador and a force for positive change. Ohm Times, open yourself to the possibilities. Are you feeling maxed out working one-on-one -on -one with clients and you're deeply desiring to scale your business for more time freedom without sacrificing your income, but rather expanding it? Many of my clients who are light workers, healers, practitioners, and even coaches, they're often multi-modality, are coming to me because they are sick and tired of working with clients on a one-off session model where the clients are coming in on a as-need basis. Or if they're selling packages, they are selling them in the sense of buy five, get one free, or the greater the number of sessions, the greater the discount. The problem with this is it's still a dollar for hours business model. And so that leaves a practitioner feeling really exhausted and overwhelmed from having to put so much time, effort, and energy in finding new clients that they're not operating in their most elevated self with their current clients. And so if this is you, I would love to share with you that it's time to elevate your business and scale it to sell high ticket one-on-one -on -one programs or even group programs. This will allow you to have more deeper impacts because you're raising your client's results, you're scaling your business, and you're having that time freedom you deeply are yearning for. 
If this is resonating with you, love, I'd love to invite you to come on a soul business alignment call with me so that you can stop feeling like you're on this roller coaster ride and start to feel safe and stable and even having fun in your business and your finances. Please go to electrifymybusiness.com to apply and we'll hop on a call. I can't wait to connect. If I could be you, and you could be me for just one hour. If we could find a way to get inside each other's minds. Walk a mile in my shoes. Walk a mile in my shoes. Well, before you abuse, criticize, and accuse, walk a mile in my shoes. All right, welcome back. So, Laura, I'd love for you to share how you help. Well, first of all, I imagine you have two types of clients. So, you have the clients who want to open up and develop their intuition, and then you have the clients who are probably like yourself, quite intuitive already, and want to monetize on their mm -hmm. gifts. So, let's mm -hmm. maybe start. And, and I guess either way help them um, really look at how to bring in spirituality into their business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to get you to jam on this with me then. Okay, awesome. So yeah, I mean, one of the things that I love is helping people tap into like psychic or mediumship abilities. And what I've realized through my work is so, so, so many people have them, particularly psychic abilities. And this is really how I help people strengthen also their intuition, their knowing, um, tuning into their senses, their feeling. And spirit are often, you know, working with us, and particularly when people come into the Psychic Mediumship Academy, they really work with us to help people strengthen their abilities and open up the connection. So I help people to learn how to receive the information, make sense of it how to read other people's energy, to pick up like their hidden blocks, the things that you need to work through, um, past, present and future. Like it's just incredible. Um, and then as we develop mm -hmm. psychic abilities, so many of these women open up mediumship abilities too where they start to connect with loved ones in spirit who want to come mm -hmm. through and pass on a message. Um, but I could talk all day about that part of the work. <laughs> I absolutely love it. <laughs> That is incredible. Thank you. And it must be such rewarding, fulfilling work. Um, mm -hmm. Now with that, how do you start help? Like how, I imagine a lot of them are new coaches and healers and therapists. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or are some um, in, or do you have therapists that come see you for business and then they want to incorporate more of their spirituality? Mm -hmm. So there's different types of clients. Yeah, there's, I've got really established healers and therapists that are often in face-to-face -face practices, like working mm -hmm. by the hour. And so they also might be somebody that want to integrate spirituality, their gifts into their face-to-face -face business. So they come in and I help them activate their gifts and bring that into their work. Then I have another group of clients that uh, that are, you know, maybe interested in that work as well, but they really want to transition their business online and they mm -hmm. want to like work out how they can utilize their spiritual gifts in their in their business to really attract more clients and to create a bigger impact. So the work that I do not only helps them with their intuition and their downloads for business ideas, for courses, programs, mm -hmm. when to launch. Um, all the things it helps them really grow their business but it gives them another income stream in their business as well because a lot of my clients begin to do readings as part of their work so that's what I get excited about it's just another arm to their business and yes. when you can tap into these gifts and offer like readings in some way or you know connect to spirit or channel or heal bring in that beautiful healing it's so appealing to people like I found that people are wanting more spiritually open practitioners more than ever so I always get asked by people like who do you know who integrates these things like you you know they're always asking and wanting people that way so um, mm -hmm. there's a lot of you know potential clients out there and obviously you can access them all over the world now with the internet which is amazing 
It is really amazing. In fact, like speaking of practitioners, um, I really love going to see massage therapists. I, I found her. She was my girlfriend. And I was like, went in to see, do some healing work with her. I'm like, oh, you do body work too. Amazing. And crystal healing. Amazing. And she, she's psychic. So I'm like, amazing. So yeah. <laughs> It's a powerful combination, just having a massage mm. and then receiving the downloads and then the shares. Like, I'm like, yeah, it's yeah. so good. So it's beautiful. I love it. I've got a few massage therapists. There's so many healing modalities that come into that, you know, and, they, you know, they, people want to talk about their problems. You've got that counseling, that coaching aspect. But, mm -hmm. yeah, you receive mm -hmm. messages and guidance. I have quite a few kinesiologists as well. So anyone that is, you know, works on the body and in yes. healing in that way, but also the mind, this integrates really well with that. Absolutely. I love that you found this niche seriously, because it's like, as you're teaching people to tune in more to their intuition, the ripple effects that get created as they work with their clients, because they're attracting people who um, start to become more open or are open already. And it's just like, oh my gosh, like more yeah. and more people are waking up. So yay. <laughs> yeah, it's so exciting. It's amazing. I love it. It's incredible. And so for you, tell us more about, because I know my audience, of course, the show is all about magnetizing your soulmate clients and monetizing on your calling. So let's jump on that because that's like my Yay. favorite topic for sure. How do you support your clients in activating that magnetism for themselves? Mm, yeah. And that's a great question. I love it. And I think it's really owning their gifts and being really loving and accepting of themselves and not being afraid to own their gifts and put it out there in the world. Like I'm really, really good at helping build people's confidence, belief in themselves and, you know, to really feel, be, be safe to be seen. Like that's the biggest one. And a lot of my work as a therapist comes into that, healing childhood wounds, mm -hmm. healing um, things that have held them back, you know, because everything comes out in business, whatever you have worked through, right, or even you've done some healing, as soon as you go to become more visible or go to the next level, like all of your stuff comes up and, mm -hmm. you know, your ego wants to stop you from doing it and putting yourself out there. And so I really help people work through that fear and anxiety and really connect to their intuition and listen to that and have the courage to really go for it in their business and mm -hmm. re really uh, go for it on social media, start speaking with more confidence, um, getting clear on their offers, uh, their what they want to put out into their world and, you know, how they can structure that and price that and, you know, get into alignment with it all, you know, so it's probably similar to some of the work you do as well, Roz. Um, I'm like, yes, yeah. we were like twins that way. Yeah. You know, and you and I have that advantage of mm -hmm. being, having a therapist background and understanding the importance of somatic healing and the subconscious work and then having the mm -hmm. gifts to be able to hold space and process that with our clients. We're not typical business coaches, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, it's shifting things on a cellular level. I'd love for you to share one of your, I'm sure all your clients are your favorite, but you know, a story that you um, feel called to share um, about your clients, um, maybe a struggle that where they are hiding, they're really scared to, to shine and share their gifts with the world for fear of judgment, rejection, and then what supported them to like really fully show up yeah i love this gosh there's so many running through my mind um, Good. I've worked of course with so <laughs> um and you know it's just in incredible to see them really go for it so I've um, had a, um, a client that worked with me who was a previous lawyer um, who mm. left that that industry and, you know, because I work very long hours, really hard. Um, my, my brother's a lawyer, so I'm really familiar with that, mm. the, what's required and the expectation in that world. And she activated a psychic and mediumship ability. She's like an incredible <clears throat> medium now, which is just amazing and mind blowing to me. So she also trained in yoga. So she started to integrate mm -hmm. her psychic and mediumship work with yoga, with energy healing. So she sees private clients, but she started her first ever uh, group program and started really showing up online and marketing and selling that. Uh, did, you know, incredibly well with that and tracks the most beautiful clients. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so it was her just being feeling safe to own her gifts releasing fear, worry and anxiety about showing up and 
helping her to work with spirit to attract her soul clients. So that's a mm-hmm. lot of the work that I do is helping people to get really clear on who it is they want to work with and work with spirit to, to call them in. Um, and you can really magnetize them through your energy, through your intention, your connection with spirit, um, how you show up. I'm very big in ma- into manifestation as well. So I bring that into all of my work. So I love all that. We also d- dive deep into her money relationship. So that's the other mm-hmm. thing that I love working around. Me is too. The elements that we have around making money, attracting clients and what that is going to look like and that feeling you need to work really hard for your money. So she came from that background as a lawyer working really really hard as I did but releasing that and allowing it to be easy and that you know you can still you know we put effort into our businesses and into our programs to grow it but you can attract people with a lot of ease and flow and and money with ease Mm -hmm. and flow too particularly when you're in full alignment like you love your offer you love what you're doing you're confident in you know how you can help people uh yeah then it's just amazing so she's done incredibly incredibly well she sold out her first group program so that was amazing and i had another and um IBM helps virtualists Sorry, Sorry I, I, I have a little bit of a leg. I wanted to just really acknowledge how um, I imagine how difficult that is moving from being a lawyer where mm-hmm. your whole mindset, all your beliefs, your identity is in being a lawyer and thinking like a lawyer and showing up as a lawyer. And then yeah. to shift completely like 180 to unravel some of the unlearn, I guess would be the word, um, ways of being in that identity of a lawyer to who she is now, to truly peeling back those layers and and really connecting more with her soul and showing up in her soul's Mm -hmm. purpose. Like, I mean, I know for myself, that was the biggest journey. It it was incredibly hard um, Mm -hmm. to, you know, you mentioned it earlier too, like feeling, oh my gosh, like, am I going to discredit myself moving into the spiritual world? Am I going to, because from a society perspective, right, hierarchies mm-hmm. and things like that, ugh, and then me being Asian, so like the extra cultural mm-hmm. expectations mm-hmm. of title, yeah. you know, I imagine that for your client, there was a lot of unraveling about that too. Yeah, absolutely. And when you spend years studying and dedicating so many years to your career, you can feel like, well, have I wasted all of that time? You know, am I, am I wasting all of that? But when you realize that all of those experiences has led you to becoming the person you are now and all of that experience helps you on your client work. So for her, she's mm-hmm. going into another another transformation, another shift now where she's really helping people understand their rights and the legal side of their work and their business as well. Mm-hmm. So that Very comes cool. into it and it's, it's so beneficial. So whatever you've learned before and the journey you've been on, it's going to come up in your client work. You're going to be able to utilize it in ways yeah. you probably never imagined would happen thousand percent i call that the alchemy of you because yeah all of that is never a waste and it is beautiful how it will come up and exactly where it needs to with the clients that we work with and not every client maybe but like there will be specific clients that will need that wisdom that she yeah. holds so that's incredible congratulations mm-hmm. and yeah, then you are so also going to share um another client i believe yeah, so I work with different clients and one this is one of my favorite clients. Um, she's so lovely, but she really helps um, people become virtual assistants and, oh, you know, cool. support other spiritual entrepreneurs in their businesses. Yeah. So it's amazing. So she's like the tech wit. So she's amazing mm. when it comes to tech. Um, and she's became quite known online and did quite well in her business. But she has all of these spiritual gifts, okay, that they were sitting there and it's in her family, but she never really did anything with it or connected with it. So she started working with me um, privately mm-hmm. and in, in my Psychic Mediumship Academy. And it's mind blowing what's happening for her. The, the gifts are opening up her intuition. She's connecting with spirit. She's passing on messages um, for friends and family. And it's coming into her client work now. She's starting to bring all of that into her helping VAs go online and helping with the energetics and working with the intuition and all of that. So she uh, is doing incredibly Mm -hmm. well. So she's had some of her biggest months in business now. So 
that's what's amazing to her. It's like when you step into your power and you own all of your gifts, like you just start to thrive in business, you know, and mm-hmm. that's what happened to her. You know, she's attracted more wealth, more uh, abundance, but she's living on purpose. Like she's doing what she absolutely loves. So, yeah, I, lo- I loved working with her as well. So, yeah, there's some great, oh, great clients incredible. that I've had the opportunity. So incredible. Oh, thank you so mm-hmm. much for sharing that. So I would love to ask you directly, because I'm sure as people are tuning in, they're like, oh, my God, like, how do I get connected with Laura? <laughs> how do I get into this academy? Can you share a little bit about how people can get connected with you? Um, a little bit more details about your academy. And of course, people can connect more uh, with you and learn about that. But mm. just what's the what's the um, uh, share that you feel called to mm. have here? Yeah, so you can absolutely find me on Facebook, Laura Chapel. I've got a, a free group that's um, a great place to connect with me. It's Visionary Souls, Thriving Coaches, Healers, um, and Spiritual Entrepreneurs. Uh, so definitely that's a great community that I have where I'm always active in there and there's lots of free resources and trainings. And, it's yeah, amazing. so, yeah, and I love that community. It's been incredible. And so the Psychic Mediumship Academy, it's it's an online group program. So I work with people all over the world, which is incredible. That's mm-hmm. why I love it. That's why I love mm-hmm. online business is I've got, you know, clients from Canada, the UK, I've had Egypt all over who can come and be part of this experience. And so it's bringing all those women together that I love. And there's live calls uh, via Zoom. So you get to know everybody in the course, which I love. Uh, And so I do teaching and training online. There's courses and there's modules to work through, but you get live coaching Mm -hmm. with me to help you activate and discover your gifts, develop as a psychic develop your intuition but also develop as a medium as well so we do that all online um, which I really really love it's one of my favorite programs and it's probably one of the most successful um, programs that I that I have Mm. the first one I started and I think I'll always run it you know it's I'm so passionate it keeps evolving and growing and literally every single person who comes into this container shifts everyone activates Mm. gifts many women come in drawn to it but not sure if they have gifts and every single person activates gifts and is mind blown mm-hmm. by the experience and you can see we're fully supported by spirit so people often have a bit of fear coming in uh, of connecting to their gifts or connecting mm-hmm. with spirit so we do a lot of work to work through that to release any fear to protect your energy so it's mm-hmm. nothing but love and light that we're working with and everybody shifts that fear within a few weeks of, of working with me so it's amazing it's really just I look forward to it every every week that you know I connect with everybody. Just love it. I imagine that's so yummy. It sounds so yummy, and mm. I imagine that every container um, of your academy, just the alchemy of the women coming in. There's a reason they're there together, right? That they are here to be mirrors for each other, learn, catalyze. So, oh, so good. And of mm. course, as uh, audiences, you're listening, my loves please do check out the show notes and you can get connected with Laura's links as well. So in the last uh, few minutes here, through a meditation, because you also do that, and whatever you feel is on your heart to really support um, our listeners here today, and just cue me, just be like, okay, Mm -hmm. Roz, come on in. (laughs) when it's time for light language <laughs> and then I'll just yeah, awesome. read all of this I love it all right so I'm going to get you to connect in so just sitting comfortably becoming aware of your your breath becoming aware of your body in the chair so we call on our angels from the highest heights that come through with the most love and light for us to really send lots of love, healing and protection to us and to those that have gifts that might be fearing exploring them. Help us to feel really safe to own and accept these gifts and to activate them. And I'm calling in our spiritual team, our guides, angels, loved ones that are around supporting us every step of the way to help us on our path, to help us feel safe, to be seen, help us to feel safe to show our gifts and share them with the world um, and to create beautiful impact on this planet while they're here so we can be the highest versions of ourselves 
and bring so much more love and light into the world. So just tapping into this beautiful white light, just feel the white light beaming down from your crown chakra into your body, just filling up every cell of your entire being as we connect between our world and the spirit world and open up that connection and that receiving of guidance, of support to help us on our journey. Just imagine that filling up, expanding out into your auric field so you're surrounded in this beautiful white light and see it connecting each and every one of us on this live stream so that everybody receives exactly what it is that they came here for and this really activates and sparks them to really explore and discover their gifts and be who they, they came here to be. I'm sending you all so much love. I'm going to call Roz in just to finish this beautiful meditation. Mm. Beautiful. So as you're tuning into the sensations of your body, and just feeling into what feels most aligned for you, Just breathing into this and expanding even more and just feeling into the tones that are going to be dropping in. Breathing in. Keep expanding your breath. Suspending it. Pondering in your power. And then as you breathe out, breathe out so you're grounding your breath as if you're a tree and your breath is like root, rooting your power in. Mm. Feeling into the energetics of this breath, this rooting down, this grounding in. You might notice tingling, solidness in your core, lightness, perhaps fluttering in your eyes, tears, all is welcome here. Your soul is deepening, it's remembering. Breathing in again. And then breathing out through your solar plex so that you form this beautiful arc bubble around you of your soul's essence, your power. And just notice there's no right or wrong what color your bubble is. Maybe it's translucent with some gold sparkles. Maybe it's prism colors, colors of the rainbow. Maybe it's a solid color. And just feel once again how it feels to be in your auric field. Feel the magnetism of it. Breathing in feeling every sensation of your body. And then slowly releasing. Conjuring in more of your power. Connecting with divine this beautiful light within and around and Father Sky, Mother Earth. And so in these last few moments, just staying with what feels most good to you, whatever good means in your body, breathing it in with every fiber of your being.
and just know that you are here to live a soul-filled life, to live on purpose and in purpose. It's a sacred responsibility. Show up for yourself. Show up in your gifts. Activate them in whatever way is most aligned for you. Share them. The world needs more of you and your light. One more breath in and out. Beautiful. When you're ready, just very slowly and gently start to bring your awareness back here. And thank you so much, my loves. Thank you so much, Laura. I so loved our conversation. My loves, please do go follow Laura. Please join her group. She is incredible. She's a beautiful soul, as you can feel. And um, I can't wait. Please shout this out on Bold Sexy Warrior on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much, Laura. Thanks so much for having me. I loved it. I'll speak to you soon. Absolutely, my love.